up guys welcome back to the channel so you can see i'm sweating my butt off here we're putting some grass seed down i went and got some topsoil with the triaxle it was about 15 16 yards and i had a little bit of extra laying around so i mixed it so you could see it was all put through a screen and everything so it's real nice topsoil i found through a company that was pulling it off a job they had a shredder and a, a screen right there on site so i pretty much dumped it all the way around the house here and then Keisha went and got some grass seed from Tractor Supply. I believe it's a Kentucky 31. So hopefully uh, that's the right stuff there. And you can see I bought some straw bedding. It's the stuff that they use on construction sites. Uh, Ferguson Enterprise bought a environmental company out. So I went and purchased some of them through my distributor. Uh, I believe I got, it was like 100 square feet in one roll. So I got seven rolls. We're gonna try out just the perimeter around the house, see how it works out. And uh, hopefully, I guess we'll take bets on if this stuff's gonna stay down because you know if you follow the channel you know how windy it is up here it's I'm hoping that it gets some grass growing get some roots in before it blows all the straw away here so we're gonna get busy putting some uh, seed down first then I'll roll that straw bedding out so I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on this there is such a thing as overseeding so you got to get it spread out nice in, uh, in all the areas and even coverage here. So what I did was went through with a landscape rake, got everything real fluffy. So this all falls down in there and then I'll roll that straw net out and then I'll water it. Hopefully, you know, get a nice start on the germination. We've got some rain coming in this weekend. So we're really hoping to get out of the mud here a little bit. It's been nonstop mud since the day we broke ground in March and I, I would really like to see some green. So. We're gonna keep spreading this seed all evenly all the way through here, and then we'll get the straw out. Definitely a two-man job. I know everybody asks me why I don't ask for help because everything I do is so spur of the moment. You know, I had no intentions even doing this 20 minutes ago and I was like, bam, I'm gonna try to plant some grass. So, uh, we're gonna see, I try to weight the end there with some two by fours. I'm hoping the more I roll it out, the better it's gonna get. So let's see what we got here. Not done too bad so once you get it started obviously the weight from it being laying down helps it roll out easier so they do sell this stuff at Lowe's and Home Depot I have no idea what uh, it costs but this is eight foot six inches long by a it's like a weird number 112 feet long eight foot six wide um, I believe my cost on this was 20 $27 a roll, so, you know, seems to have a pretty decent purpose to it. If you went out with straw or whatever, I mean, I, the going rate around here is like $7 a bale, you know, and that, it's super messy, so we're gonna keep rolling this out and see how this goes, and we'll do a little update here in probably two, three weeks. It should start germinating, getting some good growth, and uh, we'll see if it was worth it.
you can see at the beginning when the roll is light starting out it's a little challenging and then at the end when the roll starts getting tight it's a little challenging so like i said at the beginning of the video definitely be easier with two people um, but you can see that I, I do a lot of things by myself so i always find a way <laughs> So we're gonna keep continuing down through this way and then down the back side of the house. So you can see I got all back through here, around here and down the front side. So hopefully you get a little bit of grass growing around here and keep from the mud splashing up on a concrete patio and up on the side of the house. All right guys, so this is a wrap on this video here. We're gonna check in on this about two, three weeks. I'm gonna water this every day if I have to, if we don't get rain and I'm gonna see how quick this actually comes up and you know germinates and grows through this straw bedding to see if it was worth it. You know, I've seen a lot of good reviews on it, and the trick is keep it wet, keep it watered, keep the moisture in the ground. That's why you gotta use this stuff. So, like always, we appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.